Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Seniak, and welcome back to episode three of my Prison Architect series. Now, if you didn't know already, Alpha 16 is out, and it's one hell of an update. There's a new kind of land generation formation. You can get lakes and like derelict buildings in the land. There's uh, all kinds of stuff like um, you can chop down the trees and sell them. And just general improvements and more fun and a few more objects um, available to you. So hopefully we could take advantage of those new features in today's episode. Now, let's take a little um, stop for a moment. Let's have a look back of what we did in the previous episode then. Okay, so uh, we got some cells in. We got a shower. We got a yard in. Canteen, holding cell, kitchen, two offices. Uh, we almost unlocked the um, finance through the bureaucracy and we had our first set of prisoners. As you can see there, our chefs are bringing in some, it uh, looks like potatoes. So, yeah, they're going to uh, get some nice tasty meals with those potatoes, possibly make some chips. Oh, if you're English, chips. And if you're American, fries. And what what what's the work the workmen just I'd been idle doing nothing so I suppose it's time to get them to work all right so we got seven grand and we've almost completed our uh, contract here at the administration center let's have a look what's what, what, what has been going on since we have been away okay so we got one guy here red man he's Sharon Getting all, uh, getting his mohawk all nice and wet there. We got this uh, ginger boy here. He's, uh, where is he going? Going to his cell. Yeah. And he's following. Oh, he's having a little power nap. They're having some power naps, and I see. Okay, okay. So the financing is almost done. Ninety-seven percent, ninety-eight. And then once you've done that, we can hire our accountant. He can do some money laundering. He can, you know, put a couple of a uh, couple of bills through the uh, through the system, you know, make them turn them into clean clean cash. You never know. So well, that's done then. Let's uh, let's hire our accountant. It's gonna cost us a grand, and uh, also two hundred a day in wages. Jesus Christ! Wow, she looks a little without the glasses. It kind of looks like uh, Skylar at a Breaking Bad. You know, you might have to even set up a car wash across the road, you know. Jesus. Have a day one day. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so we've completed our contract of our administration centre. And I think it's time now we get a new grant. So let's have a look at what we can do. So, grant here, bookworm. Some prisoners like to read as this keeps them happy. This small grant will allow you to have a simple common room with a few books and some chairs. So we get two grand in advance and we get 1,700 on completion. So yeah, that seems, we uh, have a nice little common room for the prisoners. Gives them, um, gives them, you know, a place to go chill out, read some books, you know, have a little sit down. I notice as well, we can have a look at our regime. Oh, and now we have our um, accountant, we can check out the finance. So, uh, whoa, work on wages, guard wages, administrative um, wages, staff wages, food, Jesus. And we're only making 200 a day, so we really have to be careful about what we're doing in our prison. Okay, so we've also got our regime here, I noticed. Now, I'm not really going to do anything at the moment, as we you know, don't really have anything for them to do besides the basic regime we got at the moment. So at the moment it's uh, the eating. So you can't see at the minute, but I, uh, I'm, well, I'm hoping, I am actually hoping they're in there. So yeah, they're in there. It's eat time, time to eat, and the uh, chefs are slacking a little bit. But it's okay because they uh, have two hours to eat, so hopefully they can get some food in their bellies. And uh, yeah, just... A little, a little bit back. Okay, so we need to build a common room. Okay, so where shall I place this common room? I think I'm going to place it not just here, next next door to the shower. So let's put some planning in there. Now I don't want it to be a, a huge room in particular. I feel like that's going to be a decent enough size. 
So here comes the most expensive bit of the thing, the foundations. But it's okay because we're given two grand in um, in, uh, in advance, and we will get one thousand seven hundred on completion. Okay. Uh, the capacitor and the uh, power station—they're looking, they're looking decent. We're half we're using half of the power available. Now let's speed up the work. Then let's get them uh, putting some foundation. Let's get some concrete on the go. They are working like lightning. Okay, so I take it our pri yeah, our prisoners are all fed. Now they're in the yard enjoying some free time. They're uh, throwing their their family. You got this guy, bird here. He's um. Oh, that's Warren Redman. So like a bird, Felix Bird. He's uh he served 1.1 year and he has another nine years to go. I presume he's phoning his ex-wife saying, Yeah, Margaret, I still love you. Please take me back. I didn't mean to. What did he do? I didn't mean to do some forgery. Please take me back. <laughs> oh my god. I d ignore my voices. They are freaking terrible. Alright, so it requires an entrance. and uh, It's a common room, so they don't really need any high maintenance doors or security doors on them. Just a basic door really because all it's going to be is a bookshelf and some chairs I believe it was. Um, well we've already got build two chairs already ticked off but that's only because they're in the uh, offices so I'll add two chairs to the uh, common room as suggested in the grant. Oh okay so let's have a look for these chairs and so we've got chair, chairs there and the bookcase is just there. That's nicely done. Alright so that's why is the room not building? Do I have to fast forward it a bit? No? Will it work now? Did it not do it properly? What the hell is going on with this freaking room? Let's, uh, let's get rid of that. Oh, we have some bits and bobs missing here. There we go, so uh, hopefully that should fix it now. That should get the room all sorted. Here it comes now, laying all the concrete down. Oh, we really need to eventually get some CCTV cameras up and running, or some guard patrols, because really, they could do anything in the dark here. Oh, and now we need to build our room uh, walls. There we go. Let's designate this room then to our common room. Oh, it's it's or it's orange, so that means it's a kind of like medium security kind of uh, room. Meaning stuff could go down in there. We 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 don't know what could go down. There could be some heavy petting, you know, because you know they all shower together, so you know bonds may be formed. Or there could be some mass murder, and we do not know. Okay, so uh, we need we have let's get two chairs in as it suggested. This would be a nice place for them to read their books. Place them there. Bookshelves. Let's. Hey, it suggested. How many did it suggest? Free building free bookshelves. So it's almost like a little library. Now, can we add anything to the anything else to the common room? Let's add a pool table. There we go. And maybe a phone booth again. They could phone their loved ones and tell them how much they miss them. And. What the hell is this? What the? So we got moss growing up against the bloody walls. That is mental. I think that is a uh, something we're gonna have to hire a gardener for. So I right, must just say, oh, you're stuck too. Yeah, don't want to be stuck there with the door wide open and the prisoners running out. Jesus Christ, woman. Okay, so we've actually completed another grant. We need to, you know, calm down. Oh my god, I have just noticed something. We have another eight prisoners arriving in four hours. Let's just, just pause the game for a second. Let's just pause it, pause it, pause it. Okay, so we need to prepare for this set of prisoners to come in. I think I'm going to lay these prisoners in and I'm going to um, stop the income just for, uh, for a while. Because uh, at the moment, our prison is not up to standard for the amount of prisoners we are going to take on. So let's plan for another eight prisoners very, very quick. 
So, okay then. Oh my god. This is bad news. Bad, bad news. I, it's, it's, I'm, I'm, it's that bad I can't even build bloody cells properly. Look at me. Look at me. What is going on here? What the hell is going on? Okay, so there's four there. Let's get these done as quick as I possibly can. And Jesus, I had no idea I left that on. And to be honest, the more prisoners we get, the more income we're gonna, or we're gonna get daily. So at the moment we're getting 200. So hopefully we can increase that. Then. So foundations. This is gonna take a huge dent out of our budget again. Ah, 1,600. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's fast forward that then. But in the time being, while we were building these cells, we also have a holding cell for these prisoners just to uh, relax in until they have their own accommodated room. Okay, look at them going with their torches on. Oh, it's coming daytime. The sun's gonna shine. And the next thing on the uh, um, regime for the prisoners is shower time. What's going on? No! Oh my god, we've had our first escape! Whoa, no! This is a sad day. Oh, dearie me. How the hell did that happen? You are kidding me. I think when it put in the foundations and took this wall away, one prisoner done a runner. Oh, my dig oh no! There's a tunnel! He built a t Oh my... Oh no! Oh. This is sad. Very, very sad. Very, very, oh my, I, like, this is going to be, I'm going to mess this prison up so bad. I am going to mess it up so bad. We've already had our first escape. How the hell do I get rid of a tunnel? Is it materials? I have removed tunnel. Oh my god. So I take it, he came from this cell. Oh man. <laughs> this is crap. What a, what a shambles. I should be ashamed of myself. Okay. Okay, let's just move on. Let's forget about it. Move on. We'll be good on that. We'll be good on that. Uh, I suppose it's one less... Uh, uh, it's an extra room for a new prisoner coming in. So as you can see now, they've arrived. I'll take it they're coming in. Yeah, yeah, here they are. We have a 12 arriving in another 24 hours. But let's just close... That there, so we have no more coming in for the moment being, as we have some huge security flaws in our system already. Look at more gathering around. Like, did you see him go? Did you see? He went. He, he he got that spoon. He dug that tunnel. He was out, man. He was like a shat. He was like a shat, man. He was out. <laughs> Jesus, my voices are fucking terrible. Ah, oh, what the? This is ah oh my. Uh, I'm speechless. I am speechless. We gave him everything. We gave him potatoes and cabbage. Even gave him a common room with some books. Even a nice big shower where you can spend some quality time together. And this is how they repay me. I'm sure he had a fucking a fork in his hand when he was doing a runner. Ah, oh, that, this. To be honest, this now calls because one one escaped. Possibly more could escape. So let's have a shake now. This is going to search every single prisoner now. And, um, oh, you can see him filling up the uh, tunnel there. So if any contraband is found on these prisoners, it will remove them. Yep, found one there. Oh, and found the pri um, bloody tunnel there. So let's uh, remove all all the tunnel all together. So yeah, this, the prisoners, um, the guards are now going to um, search all the prisoners. And any contraband found, we'll remove it and take these prisoners to a solitary cell, which again, we haven't really implemented in the prison. So let's just um, concentrate on getting these cells done, really. So let's uh, speed it up so they can get it all done. Oh, we need to add some uh, objects, some toilets, some shitters into the cells. 100 each. Oh, this is budget's going to be bloody tight, but I suppose we can add another grant in. Yeah, so we'll add another grant in, so it gives a little boost on income. So what's going to give us quite a bit of uh, money in advance before, uh, so we can use to, you know, build stuff. So we get 500 in advance and 100 and 
1,700 on completion. Our research shows that a lot of your intimate population is growing, not in numbers, but as well in size. You should tackle this problem. Hmm. I don't know about that one. Uh, Water Wonderland, a Royal Prison Hygiene Committee, has concluded that out that has concluded that out hygiene level is not high enough. I'm sure that's meant to say our. Try to amend this problem. I'm going to take this because it's eventually five grand altogether. Now, what does that entail? We have to do build another pump station. And how much is a pump station? Five grand. This makes no sense whatsoever. Ah, uh, but we are, you know, uh, Jesus Christ. A pump station's five grand, and we're going to get five grand in total. There is no point in building that. But I suppose it's giving us two and a half grand in advance, so I can take that and uh, complete that one later on. Alright, and so uh, we've got these toilets in now. We're going to have to uh, build the pipes down. And we get the smaller pipes into the toilets and uh, link them up so the toilets flush. Because, like, like I said before, this is the advantage of coming to the prison of Seniac or I haven't really given it a name yet so uh, I have no idea what to call it but yeah come to our prison we have toilets that flush nobody else has this privilege <laughs> so the shakedown is still happening and the guards don't seem to be doing anything let's just call off the shakedown for now because nothing seems to be happening so yeah that will bring in uh, more of the uh, prisoners now uh, let's designate these prison rooms then. So let's get these cells and let's designate them into a cell. He another cell there. So then we'll have a total of 16 altogether when it's all complete. That's pretty decent. Put the doors on there. It's going to be like our wing A here down to our little shower room. All 16 prisoners. This is looking pretty nice now. Let's uh, get the walls placed up there. So yeah, we are able to hold 16 prisoners and I can't believe one of them escaped. Shocking. We also have a toilet placed here. Why? Why the hell? And it's been built as well. Why the hell is the toilet placed there? Let's sell. Can I sell it? No. Do I have to click on to? Do I have to demolish it? Um, dismantle it first? Not going to dump it as we can use it later on. Okay, and so the workers are getting on nicely there. Uh, let's uh, let's make pull up another grant here. Oh, oh dear! Got clicking on prisoners here. And uh, grant your call only. The Association of Fathers in Jail has been has offered us some money to build a few phone booths in our prison. This should keep um, the prisoners happy. Now we already have quite a few phone booths already in place, so maybe, just maybe, this will get completed straight away. Oh, and it did! Why didn't I choose that one first? So now we have ten grand to play with, and I, I'm this is this is amazing. <clears throat> this is amazing. What the hell? What is he doing? He's resting. Oh dear, oh dear. That's not a great place to rest, my friend, with the door wide open. Uh, we're going to have to build a staff room for our uh, guards then. So let's place the, the foundations now for our uh, remaining offices. And this going to be our little staff room at the bottom there. Now that cost us around about three grand, which is not ideal. Uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's going to be needed eventually. Okay, so why are these still flashing? Now they're not enclosed by walls, so the workers are still going. Let's speed them up. Now it's also yard time, so all the prisoners should be in the yard, making their phone calls, doing some weights, and enjoying life. Now, how's that going? Now, we've got one lonely builder here working on his own. Back and forth there, nice little rhythm has got going on. I ho, I ho, it's off to work we go with a spanner and a shovel and a hammer and a hard hat. I ho, I ho, I ho, I ho. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. 
Ah, so yeah, this is coming along quite nicely now. I can't believe we had one escape so, so early in the prison. I just really cannot believe it. That guy will be missed, indeed. I'm going to think about him and, oh, we have some stack of wood here. And we, oh, we choose to sell, so yeah. We sold it to one. Oh, we can sell trees, there we go. Nice little feature there to add 15. We can sell the uh, wood from the trees to earn a bit of income. So I suppose we can take that into a... Uh, you know, into the next episode, and we can sell some trees, get some money. So yeah, this episode then we um, extended our prison, added a, we basically doubled our capacity in size from eight to now sixteen. We built our common room, and we've now expanded our little office area down here to so, um, four more offices, and eventually our um, staff room, which our prisoners are gonna, uh, not our prisoner, sorry, our um, staff is going to need. As you can see, they're just doing nothing, holding doors open and I'm not surprised we had one escape already our uh, I don't even know if we can call it a prison at the moment but this this is just, ah, uh, I can't believe we had one escape, I just, uh, I don't want to keep going on about it but we have some flaws in our system I suppose next episode we're going to tackle them, so yeah if you're liking the series so far and this episode please uh, like, favourite and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you all in our next episode. So, again, I've been Seniac, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.